views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Truth is funny with Colette Steffen. We'll have you thinking outside the box and riding the wave of infinite potential. Join Colette on the Higher Self Network as she provides energetic shifts and consistent results in every area of life, inspiring listeners to shine their brilliance and ensure success. Many people who shift out of limiting beliefs roar with laughter as they recognize the humor of the giant cosmic joke. The truth is funny. Shift happens. Feel instant relief. Stay tuned for more fun and release struggle and suffering. And now, here's your host, Colette Steffen. This is Colette Marie Steffen. Welcome to The Truth is Funny on Transformation Talk Radio. Stay tuned for the next hour to experience the instant relief of using your intuition to solve life's most challenging problems. Shift happens every Wednesday at 8 o'clock a.m. Pacific Time. Live on the airwaves and in the archives at thetruth.com, transformationtalkradio.com, and transformationradio.fm. The energetic uh, shifts are so accessible through what and the higher self now if you are listening later. My pleasure to share life transforming information uh, with my favorite energetic practitioners, and we love to hear from you. Call in 1 800 2819. And my guest today is one of my favorite uh, energy practitioners that I've been working with, uh, William Hatch. And he in Canada, raised um, a cattle farm actually in Alberta and um, was in his by train electrical engineer and kind of went out looking for maybe a different way of doing things. <laughs> We've been working together for two, two years now. Um, Will, are you there? Good morning. Good morning. Yes, it's a, a different week, hasn't it? <laughs> it's been a wonderful week. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can feel the energy. Like, we had so many astrological events in the last two weeks. We had, like, two weeks ago, full moon and it, and the uh, um, lunar eclipse all on the same day. Yesterday or on Sunday, we had solar eclipse. And a lot of times when... There's a lot of energy astrologically on the planet. There's a lot of energy um, in our lives in the planet and a lot of things going on internally within each of us as individuals on the planet. And you and I wanted to talk about outer space, inner space, and holding space. So I'm going to give that, hand that over to you and, you know, tell us what you want to hear. And as I said, anyone who wants to call in, you can call in 1-800-930-2819 and Will and I are happy to take on any um, issues that people want to share today. In the meantime, Will, um, tell us about outer space, inner space and the gap. Over oh, the gap. You better mind it. It's a beautiful place. Uh, I like to talk about the gap in terms of this, this spot between where you're at and where you, you could be and being in between and it's this this neat place where anything can happen and it's got a lot of potential which is why i like to give it extra special care because it's got a lot of potential and so i wasn't thinking as much about the gap when this came to mind i was thinking also in terms of just how we hold space and what space is even because that came up when i was looking at how to hold space is that if if nobody's got a clear definition of what they're aiming for, then it's hard to move in the right direction. And when we talk about holding space in terms of, uh, say, like a, a, a ceremony type setting, mm -hmm. it's it can be it can be really wild being able to hold this space of of calm and healing while people are going through whatever comes up in the course of the the event. And for me. I, I think my key to it all comes from this this core thing that I have with 
in the universe that, you know, everything has happened for a reason that's brought us to where we are today. And that um, there seems to be something that guides all that. And that everything just seems to be perfectly okay. It doesn't matter what the circumstance is. When it's over and there's clarity to it, then it can be really understood in text. And all of a sudden, it's an experience. It's a learning experience. Yeah, so, you know, <laughs> when you say that, it sounds so pretty. and nice, But sometimes the, re <laughs> the reality is like, yeah, like sometimes think about those learning lessons that we life some of those can be pretty challenging so you know when it, you know i really um wanted to interject here that to holding space like for me what that means is um for a lot of people when like say they're at a seminar one of my events or whatever um and you know people will be um kind of shocked um, about, wow, like I thought I already dealt with this issue or, you know, I had, I had no idea that, um, that the pain in my body was actually coming from an emotional trauma that happened, you know, like 20 years ago or something. Mm -hmm. And so for a lot of people, um, you know, they were, were, uh, they, they're looking at um, improving themselves and being really honest with themselves and being really clear with themselves. And so sometimes um, holding space to me means just allowing someone, you know, just to be there for them and um, just allow them to express themselves. And, you know, I've uh, been at, you know, many, uh, several ceremonies with you and um, I've seen you hold space. And that's why I felt like, um, that you were qualified to speak of it. And, you know, when we were in Peru, <laughs> I mean, that first night, you know, we were, it was New Year's Eve and, and, you know, you know, you could tell this story. I mean, we were, you know, like, I mean, uh, this ceremony was really challenging and, you know, um, you were the only one that went up for seconds <laughs> and uh, got to drink out of the shaman's goblet. So do you want to explain what that's like for you, like how you're able to dig deep and hold space like that under those challenging circumstances? It wasn't challenging for me. Yeah, you were dancing and having fun and everybody else around you is like falling off their chairs and, you know, rolling around on the ground and throwing up and, you know, like not really feeling that good. And so it was really quite funny to watch you. And at the same time, recognizing that um you had pretty much um ingested double the amount of everybody else that was out of the other 30 people that were there and you were the only one that seemed to be really having a lot of fun <laughs> so <laughs> i've always held that memory and thought wow you know <laughs> that's well, um you know it takes a special kind of person to be able to enjoy that moment <laughs> Let me put it to you that way. <laughs> um, you're listening to The Truth is Funny on Transformation Talk Radio with Colette Marie Stephan. And my guest today is Will Hatch. And uh, when when we come back after this short break, we'll continue sharing some stories from Peru and also talking about space. And we also have a call that wants to get through 1-800-930-2819. We'll make some more shift happen right when we come right back. What if your body and mind were the compasses to the secrets, mysteries, and magic of life? Glenna Rice, co-host of The Questionable Parent, is inviting you to access all that is possible. Glenna is a 10-year certified veteran access consciousness facilitator who offers an amazing variety of life-changing classes and workshops. Work with Glenna from anywhere with teleclasses and workshops all over the globe. To learn more and see Glenna's current schedule of events, classes, and workshops, visit GlennaRice.com. What is a brilliant culture? And how do we create them? Why are they important? Claudette Rowley has created a breakthrough five-step process to help you design a culture that is authentic, innovative, and successful. Learn how to create change with Cultural Brilliance Radio, the DNA of organizational excellence and Claudette Rowley. 
to learn more or work with Claudette, visit ClaudetteRowley.com. Wow. Hey, everyone. Welcome. Uh, welcome to the Dr. Pat Show. This is Talk Radio to Thrive By. I'm telling you, I got to pinch myself some days because when each of us gets called to do something that we so not thought was in our real house to do for a purpose that's so much greater than us, we get to show up and shine. If you would like to show up and shine on the Dr. Pat Show as a co-host or sponsor, send us an email to inspire at the com. Tune in to The Truth is Funny with Colette Stephan each Wednesday at 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This hit show will have you thinking outside the box and riding the wave of infinite potential. Join Colette on the Higher Self Network, inspiring listeners to shine their brilliance and ensure success while roaring with laughter as they recognize the humor of the giant cosmic joke. Visit TheTruthIsFunny.com. Tune in to Dynamics of Diversity Radio, scripting the new narrative for immigration with leading experts, Kripa Upadya and Steve Tanijo on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This show will remove the noise that often accompanies discussions on this topic and share a new perspective on the dynamics of immigration and diversity, ever reminding us that together we are all at the core of innovation, excellence, and positive change. Visit OrbitLawPLLC.com for upcoming topics. Tune in to Mainstream Metaphysics Radio to harness your connection with the universe to effect change for optimal success and happiness. Name one of the country's top psychics. Eve now brings her insights and gifts to this weekly hit call-in show. Joined by visionaries, leaders, and gifted others, but mostly you. Jot it down. Thursdays, 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. 1230 WBLQ. We are back on the, the Truth is Funny with Colette Marie Stephan and my guest today, Will Hatch. Um, Will, just send, uh, give everybody your contact information. I can be reached at will at iagree.com. E-Y-E-A-G-R-E-E dot com. And, and uh, we were just before the um, break, we were talking about, uh, I just wanted to finish the story about in Peru, how it was New Year's <laughs> Eve. And you tell the story because, it, I mean, you were the one that was dancing. <laughs> yeah. So the key to that one, it, it's not some superhuman ability that I have. It comes down to your card, this and that. Remember the Madre is saying, here, do you want this or do you want that? And you're going, well, I don't know. Maybe I want the horrible thing. And she says, okay. And then you get another half hour of the horrible thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, the key to how I had my New Year's experience is that I always chose that. Never this. Always that. <laughs> <laughs> Smart man. What he's talking about is my um, per perception card and you know we forgot like um sharan started a trend that she felt i should on when she was on my show last that let's pull a dream card at the beginning of the um at the beginning of because she she just ordered the they came and she said that she was finding that they were so accurate so i'm just going to do that now and i got dissension swimming with sharks (laughs) (laughs) you know we're just uh, uh for everybody um out there like just Tell them a little bit, and then we're going to take this. About Just the, tell them, yeah. Okay. Yeah, like, yeah, what that was like, like, for you. Oh, it was hilarious. Here's all these people around me, and they're groaning and moaning in agony, and they're just having this generally rough fight. And all I can hear is salsa music coming from camp down the road where they were having a New Year's party. And in my visions, I was out first walking in the forest, and then I was at the party with everybody else. And so that was such a good time. It was pretty great. <laughs> we do have a caller, Brian. Uh, uh, we have someone calling in, so we're just going to take um, her call, and then we'll talk about the um, about holding space. I hope I can get um, Brian, the- do we have uh, Jai? Yes, I okay. hope it's Jai from Calgary, Alberta. I hope I got that right. Yeah. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Joy. <laughs> Good morning. Hi. <laughs> Good morning. What can we do for you today? How are you? I'm good. How are you? What's the weather like in how, What's the weather like in Calgary? Is it winter or spring? Uh, it's not too bad. It's kind of in an in between state right now. <laughs> just like yeah, just we had, how I feel. had spring here. <laughs> we had spring here in Kelowna for about four days, and then it snowed a whole bunch of canes, so it's white outside again. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's Canada, right? That's happening here, too. So, definitely. Uh, uh, what can Will and I do for you today? Um, I I don't know. I'm just kind of feeling a little bit stagnant in life right now, and you're talking about holding the space and, like, and inner space and outer space, and it just kind of, like, reminded me of where I am right now, and how okay. I, I want to be moving forward, but I feel like I yeah, can't. So, <laughs> you're, okay. So when you think about that and you think about like moving forward in, and like I'm getting like moving forward, what does that mean to you? Just so we have an idea what you mean. Um, are you, like, well, are you really stuck at, like, is there a, a specific goal? Yeah. Like I, I, I want to be, getting a job to like start saving up for myself and things like that. And I feel like I can't really get a, like a good paying job until I finish school and like with school and not finish my degree. And I'm not really like, you know, the degree is not really helping any because I need to take a okay. diploma in order to really be doing what I want to do. So it's kind of like nothing's really moving uh, forward. For okay. Me. So you, <laughs> okay. So we're going to just get you to take a big deep breath here. Ah, and now on a scale of zero to 10, 10 being the absolute worst, zero being neutral, where are you at? I feel like a five. Okay, yeah, that feels like sort of halfway. So, Will, what are you, what would you like to say here? I was just giggling because at the five, this is kind of like being stuck in between. Yeah. <laughs> so often people I call them have an extremely, extremely extreme <laughs> issue, and it's right at the top. Okay. Um, I love it. She's right at the five, right in the middle in the gap. Yeah. <laughs> well, I have a consoling thought. Uh-huh. And that's that um, this desire, this very clear desire to move forward, that it's been clearer every day that you That's step one. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. And what I wanted to, uh, see, Jai, what I wanted to ask you is how long have you been going to school? And how much longer do you have left to go? Um, well, the degree usually takes four years, but I'm already in my fourth year, but I have to take like an extra year because I didn't take the full courses each mm-hmm. year. So it's I'm taking longer in my degree. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to be taking an ECE diploma, yeah. which is what I really want to be doing, which takes another year. So it's <laughs> about two years. <laughs> okay. So... Um, so it was basically what, what was coming up was like how much time you've already put in and how much yeah. more time you have to put in. Like you're doing time, like, you know, um, yeah. like you're in, yeah, so like, like in, you know, like it's like a sentence, you know, with a whole bunch um, of commas instead of a period. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I meant like right. a sentence, like a jail <laughs> sentence, but that. <laughs> <laughs> but that pretty much said it too. It's making Shy laugh anyway. <laughs> yeah. So Actually, you know, that makes how sense. old are yeah. you, Jai? Uh, twenty-one turning twenty-two in a you? month. Turning twenty-two. Twenty-one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my lord, you're so old. Like, there's no way that you're going to get all this done before the end of your life. <laughs> So we're just going to strengthen you this, okay? Like, it's kind of like um, um, what's coming up is a spiritual, um, you know, your age, um, being 21, going on to 22. It's kind of like women in particular have a tendency to do things when they're 21, like get married, have babies, um, start, finish careers, break up with boyfriends, you know, all sorts of things like that. And um, if I have like, say I have a seminar and I had like 50 women in the room, you know, I can ask, okay, who got married or had a baby or, you know, um, whatever at the age of 21 and half the room will put up their hand. And then at the age of 28, 
you know, who got divorced or got married or had a baby or made a big ch- career change, et cetera. And so it's really common for um, uh, things to come into cycles of seven when it comes to job mm-hmm. and career and purpose and all of these things. So we're just going to strengthen you to that. And it's kind of like, you know, it's interesting that 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 card that I brought up, um, this is one of the tactics like that we use against each other and the governments, you know, and everybody like talks about is, um, you know, when you have to go to like, you have, there's certain things that you have to get a degree, you have to get like, um, you know, you have to get your cre- accredit- uh, accreditation, like is what's coming up for you. And so we strengthen you to that, that you are already um, there. So Will, like, um, up this gap energy will you shift um jai um what number are you at i think i'm pretty neutral i feel like at a one ish yeah <laughs> like it's like yeah so will do you want to tell her what you were shifting for her it, it was um over educated under qualified is what came up in my head as we got started on this <laughs> And I went through that one myself <laughs> because we go through all the expense of university. And I also took a bit of extra time because I thought, let's enjoy life while we're going to university. It's not a sentence. Let's, let's make the best out of it. <laughs> and when I walked out, I honestly was making as much money in a whole year as I used to make in one summer in road construction during university. And so there's this challenging aspect of knowing that what you want is on the other side of this and having the the wherewithal to just keep going because you made up your mind that that's where you're going to go and that's what you're going to do. It's a sacrifice in the front and it's a payoff at the end down the road. And it, it takes, it takes some uh, determination to get over that bump and that's it. And you're there. Yeah, and, and, and this is what is um, like what's coming up for you, Jaya, is that um, it's kind of like um, coming up that you feel like you're like so anxious to get your life started. And you don't feel like your life's really going to be started until you're done in school. But, you know, your life is already started, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> like, have you noticed that you're. Have you noticed that you're breathing, <laughs> you know, that, you know, you're, you're having interactions with people? Um, so I would suggest for you and for everybody that's kind of feeling this right now is like to just get, you know, in touch with that. And you're you're neutral to it now and you can totally feel the difference now. So yeah. um, but really every single thing that you do throughout your day, every single every um, every um encounter you have with other people, um, every, um, you know, go to, there's always, always, always opportunities that are there for you. And people always, you know, you, you know, you meet many people in your life. When you look at the big picture, we don't meet very, you know, when you consider how many people are on the planet and just strengthen you to that, like a track people like a magnet for you that are going to benefit you in your authentic goals. And so I understand this a lot of times when people go to using their education anyway, they end up getting a totally different job or whatever. And so we just can you to all experiences and everybody out there to experience being like an educational experience and that you're in the process of moving forward in your life every day, just because you're breathing. And so we strengthen that for you, fun doing it and not take it too seriously. Like when you're 21, there's lots of room for improvement. You understand what I'm saying? (laughs) Mm -hmm. Like, can you feel that for yourself right now? Yeah. Don't be hard on yourself. Um, Just because people say that when you're 21, you're supposed to be grown up doesn't mean that everybody is right then. So we're just going to strengthen that for you. And, you know, we're going to take a quick break oh, here. And when we come back, we're going to talk a little bit more about this. But I want to thank you so much for calling in. And, um, you. you know, you can reach me at info at the truth is funny dot com. If you want to make a comment and let us know how you're doing or if you want to reach Will, what is your um, email address again, Will? Will at I agree dot com. There we go. 
All right, we'll be right back after this short break. your body is awakened, your spirit comes alive. Dana Canetto is a transformational guide, embodiment coach, and spiritual mentor assisting women in realigning with their truth and embodying who they are by connecting to the wisdom of their body. Tune in every month on Transformation Talk Radio and the Dr. Pat Show Network for Body Divinity Radio with Dana Canetto. For more information on Dana and her services, visit danacanetto.com. That's D-A-N-A-C-A-N-N-E-T-O.com. Sky Siegel co-hosts one of today's most popular psychic shows, Angels and Answers, with Artie Hoffman as she communicates healing messages from the spirit world. These messages can be astounding, enlightening, and life-changing. Born with the God-given talent of inner guidance and the amazing ability to heal, Sky has healed thousands of people. Schedule a reading with Sky now. Call 908-500-1474 and visit skyofangels.com. Call the Oprah of Radio by her listeners. Award-winning host Dr. Pat Basile is blowing the doors off of traditional talk radio. Get ready for an energizing delivery and powerful interviews with leaders in the field of human potential. Dr. Pat's fresh new perspective on living life full out has catapulted her show to the top of talk radio. Tune in and Dr. Pat will help you thrive instead of merely survive. Visit the drpatshow.com. That's T H E D R Patshow.com for listening times in your area. What is a brilliant culture? And how do we create them? Why are they important? Claudette Rowley has created a breakthrough five-step process to help you design a culture that is authentic, innovative, and successful. Learn how to create change with Cultural Brilliance Radio, the DNA of organizational excellence at Claudette Rowley. To learn more or work with Claudette, visit ClaudetteRowley.com. Wow. Hey, everyone. Welcome. Uh, welcome to the Dr. Pat Show. This is Talk Radio to Thrive By. I'm telling you, i got to pinch myself some days because when each of us gets called to do something that we so not thought was in our real house to do for a purpose that's so much greater than us, we get to show up and shine. If you would like to show up and shine on the Dr. Pat Show as a co-host or sponsor, send us an email to inspire at the com. Tune in to The Truth is Funny with Colette Steffen each Wednesday at 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This hit show will have you thinking outside the box and riding the wave of infinite potential. Join Colette on the Higher Self Network, inspiring listeners to shine their brilliance and ensure success while roaring with laughter as they recognize the humor of the giant cosmic joke. Visit TheTruthIsFunny.com. I am Colette Murray, and you are listening to The Truth. You can connect with me at funny.com. Tales from the Vector, TS from the Vector.com for energy correct paintings. Um, we're doing a, a new update on uh, the website, Tales from the Vector, because we have 19 new energy correcting cards to introduce um, right before the upcoming seminar that I just want to plug here quickly. Um, I'm going to be having a live event in over a year be held right here uh, March 17th and 19th. Really forward to that. You can look it up on my website uh, www.thetruthisfunny.com and uh, it's a program that I've been working on for a decade now and really, you know, it's been a lot of fun and I'm really looking forward to sharing the information that I've been sharing in another unique way. <laughs> and, um, you know, just before the break, we had uh, Jai on and Will, you and I were, you know, she was talking about what a lot of people you know, perfect for this show as usual. A lot of people are going through like, um, you know, she's caught in the middle, like she's halfway through her schooling, but no, you know, so what words of advice do you have for people when they're feeling this way? Well, do you remember how our very first radio show together, we were talking about 
how the uh, energy goes, energy flows where the thoughts go. And yes. So it, this is a beautiful example because it's university and it's a very extended project, but uh, we were coming at it from the topic of ceremony also, which is a short thing, but it, it has a similar implications. So if I make up my mind at the very beginning that I'm going to go and do something and I'm doing it for these strong reasons because I was guided with intuition and logic to come here and, and I felt with all of my capacity that this was the thing to do and so I go and I do it. Now, it's, now that we're partway into the job, time has passed, it's easy to forget why we started. And so... <clears throat> In that space there, if we're really holding the space for ourselves, we can we can tell ourselves this the story that we don't know why we're here and this is not what we wanted and that everything is going sideways. We can put our energy into backpedaling or going in a different direction or something, and it's going to take time to get the momentum in that direction. But if we really tune into why we're here in the first place, and if we can really be in perfect alignment with that, knowing that we are here for a good reason to move forward and where we are now is a part of where we're going and this is all important in coming together, then my energy stays on the path and there's no diverting, there's no desire to backpedal or sidestep. And when the energy stays on the path, the momentum continues to build in the same direction. I love that because, you know, we were just talking about this yesterday. Um, I had like, we were so blessed yesterday. Um, Will was here at, um, with me at the house and we had a real special visitor yesterday, um, Angela Ortega, that is, you know, she's from the area here, an amazing, amazing woman, you know, um, which you met her now, like <laughs> you can attest to. Uh, she ran the, you know, the Spring Festival of Awareness 30 years and has met like, I mean, to organize events of that um, um, number of people coming and, um, you know, introduced to people who are modalities all over, you know, for 30 years, like having 50, 60, 70 people at an event talking and at the same time having like hundreds of people going to all these different events organizing all of that and you know it was such a beautiful visit with her yesterday and um you know she was here for over a couple hours and dropped off a lot of the issues scenes so i just said um, i wanted to put in a on the radio show those of you who are out there with the uh, um, spring festival awareness was um uh, she's not running it anymore and so this will be the first year she running it out at johnson's retreat out in the uh, and, and, which is in British Columbia here uh, at a bit smaller level um, than, but um, she's been publishing the Issues magazine now for also like 30 years or something. And I have, uh, she dropped a bunch here. And so I just wanted to let everybody know that yes, there is an Issues magazine and um, we will be, um, Angela is out on the road right now, distributing them out there in British Columbia and Alberta as we speak. <laughs> so I just wanted to, you know, give her a wave and say um, thank you for stopping by and thank you for all the beautiful, wonderful work, you know, that, that you have done, Angel. listen to the radio show, all the support that she's given to so many people that are passionate about their um, story. So I just really wanted to mention that how um, a lot of people in the area here know Angel and know what a special person is. And so I just wanted to say hi on the radio and um, Issues Magazine is out and it, it is available now. And this issue is a one year issue instead of a, um, um, like she was doing prior. So, you know, you got to meet your impression, well, when you met Annabelle. <laughs> what a wealth of information. <laughs> Two hours yeah. were not even enough to scratch the surf. No, no. Like this woman, I'm telling you, she's met many people who teach so many modalities. And, you know, and uh, so it's, it, so, you know, she holds a lot of space. And, you know, uh, you could feel that when she was here. And so... It's interesting, isn't it? Like, what was your impression of that? 
I'm just interested, like, you know, when you meet someone like that, that's been doing it for years and years and then um, Jai calling in and she's done and she's like, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I, I know it sounds really weird, but from my perspective, she's very much like a number of other people I've met. And what I mean is that there's these old, there's these souls out there who are doing this very specific kind of work with a very specific kind of intention. And they're out there for the best of everybody. And when I meet them, when I sit next to them, the way that I feel is that they're all exactly the same person or a shallow copy at the best <laughs> <laughs> and what an energy i've only met a handful of people in the world like that but from from what i've learned about how somebody can hold space for other take very many people like that to hold space for the world and when you know like um just defining it because people talk about holding space a lot uh, for me holding space means that you allow someone to express themselves and without judgment. And uh, so quite often, you know, uh, when I have energy seminars and people are learning how to do, you know, these skills, because uh, there's um, certain protocols that you can use that will sharpen your uh, intuition that will, you know, this is what the seminars are about. And then um, like my seminars coming up, this one in March, I, um, everybody's going to let me know what it is that they want to work on on the weekend. The, the goal that they want to, and we're going to strengthen that throughout because it's very um, innovative and very, um, uh, people start working together right away from the, the, you know, in the first 15, 20 minutes of the seminar and people are, um, so surprised sometimes at how good they are at holding space for other people when they haven't even done it before. <laughs> and that is like really not judging people, not judging the situation, the neutrality. And, you know, you and I were talking about that this morning. Do you want to just say a little bit about that? Neutrality mm -hmm. and, you know, get, why neutrality is beneficial for when you're holding space. Hmm. You put me on the spot here and I'm coming up with a blank. Neutrality is important for holding space because if you're not neutral to what you're looking at, then you're going to be reacting to it instead of responding to it. How is that for a, a perfect comeback with some language out of your book? There you go. The point is to recognize this, um, that when people are going through a, um, um, you know, um, some discomfort, uh, in their body or they're letting go of something that, that they've been holding on to and they're releasing that it's, it, um, if someone that just can be there, someone, um, you, I would see this a lot with face readings. I'm um, just looking someone in the eye and caring to, um, right. And while, uh, can have huge benefits for people. We'll talk a little bit more back and, and, um, this is the, the show today. Um, I've been like really looking forward to um, sharing this energy because this week has been so, uh, for so many people that I've connected with. And so I just want to strengthen that for everybody before we go to this next break and then talk about a little bit more about what's going on in the world and how we can hold space for each other when we come back. We'll be right back after this short break. <laughs> When your body is awakened, your spirit comes alive. Dana Canetto is a transformational guide, embodiment coach, and spiritual mentor assisting women in realigning with their truth and embodying who they are by connecting to the wisdom of their body. Tune in every month on Transformation Talk Radio and the Dr. Pat Show Network for Body Divinity Radio with Dana Canetto. For more information on Dana and her services, visit danacanetto.com. That's D-A-N-A-C-A-N-N-E-T-O.com. 
Cy Siegel co-hosts one of today's most popular psychic shows, Angels and Answers, with Artie Hoffman as she communicates healing messages from the spirit world. These messages can be astounding, enlightening, and life-changing. Born with the God-given talent of inner guidance and the amazing ability to heal, Sky has healed thousands of people. Schedule a reading with Sky now. Call 908-500-1474 and visit skyofangels.com. Call the Oprah of Radio by her listeners. Award-winning host Dr. Pat Basile is blowing the doors off of traditional talk radio. Get ready for an energizing delivery and powerful interviews with leaders in the field of human potential. Dr. Pat's fresh new perspective on living life full out has catapulted her show to the top of talk radio. Tune in and Dr. Pat will help you thrive instead of merely survive. Visit the drpatshow.com. That's T H E D R Patshow.com for listening times in your area. Tune in to The Truth is Funny with Colette Steffen each Wednesday at 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This hit show will have you thinking outside the box and riding the wave of infinite potential. Join Colette on the Higher Self Network, inspiring listeners to shine their brilliance and ensure success while roaring with laughter as they recognize the humor of the giant cosmic joke. Visit TheTruthIsFunny.com. The Earth is an ever-changing being. Goddess Light, shamanic healer, Brie Gibbs, guides us through the ascending worlds, bringing forth knowledge and truth. As a light creator, she is here to provide new information needed at this time in our evolution. Join Brie as she shares messages from guides, spirits, ascended masters, goddesses, and others. Tune in the second and fourth Monday, 11 a.m. Pacific, and Thursdays, 1 p.m. Pacific, for Silver Gaia Radio. 1230 WBLQ. Hi, this is Colette Marie Steffen. You're listening to The Truth is Funny. I have Will Hatch on today, and we were talking to uh, Jai earlier, who is 21 and is feeling stuck because she's halfway through. Um, um, I, uh, when I do my private sessions, quite often I get a feeling for what's going on, you know, in a, any given week. And this has been like for a lot of people coming up in um, their lives, like, Will, we were talking about this, you know, how, how does someone like Jai, like, stay, like, pumped up, you know, like, um, motivated, uh, not motivated so much, but, like, following her path? What... Appreciation helps for me. I sit there and I think about the things that I value. And just by giving them value, they seem to grow. <laughs> There's going on in the world that could distract us that we could focus on there's so much going on in the universe that even just in our own minds that we could focus on and it could be any range from what we want to what we don't want to what we know or to what we don't know like anything is possible in here and when i look at it it starts to get weird because i don't see the universe as it's this really thin, weird veil that sort of hangs over everything. So my perspective is really different than a lot of people around me, <laughs> as you already know. Well, this is because, you know, like what you're speaking about is, um, you know, what I sought um, to get more information about, you know, I was on this path of like, I want to know about remote healing and how is it possible and then I wanted to know, okay, well, yeah, we're all connected, but like, I, I want, you know, know that I knew that, you know, quantum physicists talk about that, but I didn't really understand it. And so when I went with Nassim Haramine and, and with the Resonance Project Foundation and became an emissary, so much was made clear to me because what's holding us together is space. And a lot of people feel like what's holding us together is their job or their family or, and those things are all very important. But um, what's really, really holding us together is the fact atoms. And so the, the, the outer space, you know, and the inner space and the Indian, um, every day we're dealing with that 
on on many levels. There's the world right now that the average person does not have any control over, except for your attitude. Mm -hmm. And um, and and I feel this is really for um, people that are are looking for some calm right now is yes it's true we're we're really going through <laughs> some challenging times and judging from the week that i've had with with private sessions with clients a lot of the people are feeling kind of on edge and kind of like not sure and all of these things but having said that at the same time there's so much beautiful um, out there to focus on and so just strengthening that for everybody staying in this calm um, being able to hold space for yourself first and foremost is important and um, we don't really have control necessarily over what's going on around us but we most certainly do have control about our attitude around that and so do you want to just maybe talk a little bit about that because that's a different kind of holding space again that's the holding space for ourselves. And it comes back to the same principles as far as I can tell. It comes back to having a, a firm understanding of why we're here and always acting out of it. And without that firm understanding, then we could just be acting out of whatever we're observing. And so that comes down to attitude also. If your belief is that what is, is, and that's simply it, and that what you see is is the the extent of how this goes and your ability to control the outcome if if you believe that that ability doesn't exist beyond what you can physically do with your physical body then you're going to find yourself in a place where you're kind of stuck feeling that if you can't get out there and take control of the situation that you're powerless and there comes in this attitude right there. And with, with this uncertainty often comes fear. And if we have an understanding of where we come from that says that there's a reason why I'm here and there's something that I'm doing and that all the stuff that I don't quite understand, it's okay. I will understand it and there's a reason for it. It's a very good reason that's guiding me somewhere that I'm going that I obviously ask to go to that I just don't quite remember asking for. Now, under that attitude, Everything is very different. And from a physical standpoint, to tie it back to the inner space, when somebody spends a day in fear, the, the chemical buildup of all the stress hormones in the body is such that the body is disabled. The mind is being disabled. And so it comes down to this simple choice that we make or don't make to decide that there's going to be a reason to this and that we make the reason. And then under that choice comes all of these other things that takes away all this need for fear and uncertainty because we've already made up our minds about that. Yeah. And this is like something that, um, you know, a lot of people think that they're going to university to be educated and doing what they love to do. And then they get to university and, and they find out that, you know, um, it maybe doesn't have as much, their education doesn't maybe have as much to do with what they love to do as they thought. And, you know, when you think about the fact that, you know, you're 16, 17, 18, and you're making these choices about what you want to do for the rest of your life. Um, let's just, you know, like, let's take it one day at a time and just strengthen that um, for all the students out there, um, recognizing that, you um, Life is life. Life is an education in itself. And so what I've told a lot of people that are going to university that feel kind of stuck like that and, you know, is really um, uh, a lot of people don't ever use that degree that they go for. They end up doing something else anyway. And so just the experience of attending school, doing a good job on the reports like that, you're you know, if you're interested in them. Um, and just doing your best that you can do in in um, any given moment, uh, that in itself builds character. And and a lot of times, people when they're going to school, they think they're going there because they want to fulfill a purpose in their life. But really, the purpose of going to school a lot of the time is showing that you can show up. <laughs> you know, um, and so you know. This is something I talk about, you know, you brought up my book earlier 
And um, in my book, um, <clears throat> quite often I had to jump back and forth between um, uh, using present term and past term and um, using um, making sure that I didn't uh, imprint anyone with any negative energy or um, anchor any negative energy on people because what happens is when something bad happens in our life, a lot of people will go straight to the internet and they'll look it up and all of the information. And this is something to be aware of. A lot of the information on the internet will say you, you, you. And so you want to really strengthen yourself that um, you have strong boundaries here so that uh, everything that you do for yourself, you're, when you're holding space for yourself, you're aware when your boundaries are being crossed and you strengthen yourself by just putting some energy into your core. We have about a minute left, Will. What would you like to finish saying to everybody here? Uh, isn't it a beautiful day? I just <laughs> yes, love it is. Days like this come. I mean, I can't see the sun, but I know it rose. And uh, <laughs> I love knowing that the sun's out there. It really gives me a great pleasure to know that there's this thing that's been providing warmth and energy to this beautiful little planet for so long and feeding our life cycle and that gives us everything that we see around us and know as life. It's pretty incredible to think that we're just a spontaneous chemical reaction that's been going on ever since the day that we were born. Beautiful. I love it. <laughs> I love that. So the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. And if that happens tonight, we'll all be happy. <laughs> thank you for being on the show. And uh, thank you, Brian. Thank you, Jai, for calling in. Uh, thank you to all the listeners. Um, really looking forward to connecting with you some more next week, Wednesday, 8 o'clock a.m. Pacific time. Bye for now. You've been listening to The Truth Is Funny with Colette Stefan. Tune in to The Truth Is Funny with Colette Stefan each Wednesday at 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Join Colette on the Higher Self Network as she provides energetic shifts and consistent results in every area of life, inspiring listeners to shine their brilliance and ensure success while roaring with laughter as they recognize the humor of the giant cosmos joke. The truth is funny. Visit the truth is funny.com for more information. That's the truth is funny.com.